Hello once again, audience. When we left off, I was going against the British All voice in my head. English. English. What English. could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. This is the freaky beginning again. Oh, man. This game is freaking awesome. I don't know what's going on at all, but this guy's messing with me. Last time I did not go to the room that he wanted Stanley me to go to. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Did he now? <laughs> did he? Indeed. Okay. Was I supposed to pick the door on the right in the first place? <laughs> oh, freaking abstract questions. I'm not going to ask any more questions. Yet there was not a single person here either. That's what I Feeling can find. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go to my boss's office. How to solve a dispute, let a ball beside you present co-workers, take it out passive-aggressively. Wow, that's amazing. Synergize Corvette. Whoa, I write in all caps too! Ha! That's great! Oh man, I still can't read it though. Work harder, hard worker. Oh, that's that's good. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. Have you ever had a job kind of like this? Woohoo! Clicking opens doors. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I don't know if I buy all that. There's clearly weapons and a broom and freaking who knows what else. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just yeah, I believe, I, but freaking, I believe you, dude. No reason to still be here. I believe you, dude. I totally believe you. I totally believe you, dude. Why is he telling me that, huh? It huh? Was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. Dude, he wasn't even doing. How anything. do you know? At least if there was something he's trying to freaking trick me. He'd be justified in some way. As it is, right, he's fine, literally just standing Shut there up. doing sweet FA. <laughs> Oh man, he's my best Coming friend. To a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ooh, I should do that, I guess. Let's just go to. I'm sorry. Let's just go to. I'm sorry. Sorry. I have to do it. What's he gonna do? Start me all the way over the beginning? It's hell. Stanley walked straight down to hell. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Oh, man. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe oh, I am crazy. Oh, boy. All of my co-workers I'm blinking scared. mysteriously out scared. of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made what? any logical sense. What is happening? And as Stanley pondered this, he began around. to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet? Oh, that's awesome that you addressed that. The doors close automatically behind him wherever he went. And for that matter, his <laughs> rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Simply <laughs> retreating. <laughs> Stanley said to himself, "You this is smart Alex. Strange, this can't be real." I was turn around. At last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't this found the answer. This guy owns me, dude. I'm dreaming. He yelled. This is all a dream. It's all a dream. I'm dreaming. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His Let's go back. I guess. Oh, it's closed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. He wasn't going to lose his job. I'm screwed. He wasn't crazy oh, after no. all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to Can go open back that door to back my boring real-life job pushing buttons. <sighs> I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too... What? Appeared. It was so much fun. What? And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so awesome. lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now Dude. the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing awesome. me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. 
<laughs> and then he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now. There has to be a lot of voiceover in this game. Life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Duh. He knew for certain Can they just open dark, this one? that this was in fact a dream. Nope. Did the voice you gotta keep going. to make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes. This is awesome. And he invited himself to wake up. Oh, he felt the boy. cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. He just made me close my eyes. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. That's his voice. Please. That's why. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. Neil. My life is normal. Morpheus. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. I feel really peaceful right now. Nope. Fantastic. Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. Why is that music I have a happening? Boss, I have an office. If there's like I a Slenderman real. in this. Please, just someone whoa, tell whoa, me whoa, I'm whoa, real. Whoa. I must be real. I must What's be. What's happening? Can anyone hear my voice? Oh, oh no. Die? Oh no. And everything went black. <sighs> <laughs> this is good. This is the story of a woman named Mary. I doubt it. I don't think that's true. I think it's Stanley. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a what? man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Oh, and although no. she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This, much she this is like Banana Phone. Everyone Have you seen Banana Phone? What crazy people look like. The song gets stuck in their head moment, and they like die. And then it passes on. Is it passing on to her? Oh, dude, it's passing on to her right now. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. Oh, no. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension the rest of her life she had no time for this so it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the body and then she took those and pants ran. look at this he's got a nice pants with my boyfriend out of those pants sorry girl your boyfriend never gonna have them pants just steal them off a dead man what is this Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. No. What? No, the orders were still missing. For now. Oh, you but Stanley tricky simply couldn't little handle the biscuit. pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? I don't think he so. He no longer had the ability to tell. There's a clock. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Spoken to? Now it's just a You spelled your closer. word wrong, narrator. Now it's you even closer. It Here it comes. Ooh. What is going on? 
I gotta pause it, dude. I'm gonna make some freaking coffee. I wanna play this for the rest of time. Apparently, that's probably what's gonna happen. Thanks for watching. Bless your face. If you sneeze during this parable, bless you. Peace out.